school of family therapy that you founded, Conjoint Family Therapy, you, you spent a lot of focus is just studying the way communication occurs in a family to diagnose what, what that family's problems are. And as long as, that's right, and mm -hmm. as long as we're on that subject, let me tell you something that came out so clearly after I worked with many, many people. There are two dialogues that go on. One is a dialogue of the words, and the other is a dialogue of feeling. Mm -hmm. And many times, those are different. I'll give you a little illustration. Ask me how I am. How are you? I'm fine, Jeff. Mm. Now, when I said that, tell me what happened to you. Well, you, you had a very cold uh, tone to your voice, so I thought uh, you, you, you're trying to distance. Yeah, but didn't, so didn't you hear the words, that I was fine? Yeah, uh-huh. All right, so you see, this is typical. Yeah. Yeah. Or um, ask me again um, if I like something, whatever it is. Okay. Do you enjoy being here on TV today, Virginia? Oh, I think that it's just wonderful. <laughs> now, yeah. I'm doing something else. So I'm sending out yeah. another message about the words mm -hmm. that, that disclaim what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing I found out, just like in the first illustration, the thing I found out is, those two uh, levels of, of the dialogue come from two different places in the person. They are not an attempt to, um, uh, uh, to um, bring trouble, trouble to other people. That's not where it comes. These are totally unconscious. Yeah. I think you call one level the meta-communication right, level. Right. In other words, every time we communicate, we have a message, and we're also communicating a message about our message. That's right. Exactly. And that's, you see, a lot of people, and, and I think it's even been true of psychologists. When people give what we call double level messages, which is where my body says one thing and voice, different from my words, that this is a way to, th that this is deliberately done. It isn't. Mm -hmm. The words come from the left brain, what you should do. The other part comes from the right brain. Now, suppose that I have a rule that says that I should never complain to you. So mm -hmm. let's suppose I'm in terrible pain and you ask me how I am, mm -hmm. and I say, fine, what am I doing? This says I've got a rule that I should never complain. Yeah. And it says I have pain, but I'm, I'm giving the message that I, uh, what I should do, which is I should never complain. Mm -hmm. And it's as if underneath any conversation, no matter how, I suppose, abstract or intellectual, there's always a, a, a human being under there with emotions, often needing to be validated. That's, of course, one of the things I try to teach people. I will have to tell you something. I go to lectures, I, I mean, and people presenting things, and I listen, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, they may be talking about all this erudition, and underneath I hear, I'm hurting, mm -hmm. I feel disappointed, I would love for you to help me. Mm -hmm. And it comes out in these very erudite terms. Now, if I were to go to one of those people and to say, I'd like to help you, the chances are that they would say, how did you know I needed help? What makes you think I need help? Yeah. They might even deny it. Sure, because usually people like that have rules they shouldn't ask for help. Not that they don't need it. Mm -hmm. And this is the kind of stuff that goes on with people all the time. See, I can always see and hear better on you than you can hear and see in yourself, mm -hmm. simply because I'm outside of you. Yeah. And then when I share with you what I'm seeing and hearing, if it, for instance, happens to meet one of your rules, which is I should never ask for anything, I should always be right, uh, etc., then you have to deny that what's going on. And then mm -hmm. if I am not careful, I have to prove my point mm -hmm. and pretty soon we've estranged ourselves. And, and in our culture, I suppose one of the very common rules is, is never to reveal uh, what you really feel, especially if, uh, of the vulnerable parts. Well, see, if you think, that's absolutely true. If you think about it, mm -hmm. the people's feeling about what's vulnerable is their deep feelings. But mm -hmm. most people uh, give themselves credit with quotation marks for only having bad things inside, uh -huh. not good things. Yeah. Or, or, or um, even, you know, I've even found people who felt that they couldn't talk about love feelings because somebody else would be jealous. Mm -hmm. So as a result, we don't communicate the thing that is really what human beings mm -hmm. are about. Mm -hmm.